Hello friends and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm kind of unpacking a lot. We are doing it all, getting it all done. And I really want to start off this video with something that was kind of new and exciting to me. I have been talking about hanging curtains in this corner of this room and I finally committed to a pair. Um, although you guys will kind of have to stick with me through this video and kind of see how it all ends and my thoughts on how I'm liking this bold change. But if you guys are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all will consider subscribing before you leave. And if you guys have been here for a minute, it. Also, welcome back and thank you so much for clicking on today's video and just I know so many of you are so busy and it just means the world that you guys take the time to hang out with me and enjoy my videos. So like I said, we're going to start here on this window and I love these shutters. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of them or hang on to them. I still kind of love the vintage feel to them so I'm not gonna like jump the gun and get rid of them right away so I kind of have them kind of sitting to the side before I commit to getting rid of them but I'm just gonna go ahead and take these down I hung them up with just a couple picture nails they are really really lightweight I got them on the Facebook marketplace really really long ago like maybe close to 10 years ago so I'd say I definitely got my money's worth but I picked up this new gold curtain rod from Target by Project 62. I think it was around 30 to $35. It is the larger size. And then I picked up these blackout velvet curtains in this beautiful golden brown color. And um, this is a lot for me. I don't have a ton of color in my home, but I think they're so rich looking and they do add so much to the space and just warm up the area. But definitely stick with me once I get these up. I want to kind of share my thoughts on these curtains and if they're going to stay or if they're going to go. I will link these curtains down below. They do have a few different colors and I, I don't know why I've just been really drawn to this color. Like I said, I've been loving bringing the warmness of the golds into my home but I also do love the look of mixed metals. So we'll kind of see where this new change kind of takes me in my home. Um, I am working on um, a wall in my dining room as well. So we will actually go to Lowe's and look at paint colors and then I'll share some of the samples that I brought home and I would love to hear your feedback on everything that's been going on here just to kind of update my home a little bit. But um, these curtains I've been wanting to put up here for quite some time. So my husband was home. So I asked him if he could help me get this curtain rod up really quick. And I will say this is the longer size of the curtains. And I wish that they did hit the floor. But my full vision is to put a desk with a cute little lamp in a chair right here. So I really think it's going to block the bottom of the curtains anyways. So I'm not going to jump the gun and order another pair of curtains. And I'm also not even sure if these curtains are going to stay. I have another idea for them um, just in case I end up moving them. So I didn't want to rush and return them or exchange them or anything because I think that they still will work in my home either in this space when I bring it all together or in another space. going to slide this bench back into place because this is where it's going to stay for now and I have a bunch of this decor that I just kind of had staged when I was redecorating my shelves in here if you guys missed that video I will link it down below it's definitely a good one a good one especially if you have a space in your home uh, maybe shelving somewhere or a hutch um, it can be very difficult to kind of think of how to decorate things and balance them out and I have been really, really happy with this last go around with decorating them. And 
Um, so I just had some decor sitting out from when I pulled things around my home. I, it was very important to me to utilize decor that I already had as much as I could before I went out to the stores. And I think I only ended up picking up, I think two items from the Studio, Studio McGee and Threshold line from Target. And so that's been very important to me to keep my decorating around my home extremely budget friendly. And I wanna make sure I'm not making it too, too trendy. So I've been bringing in a much traditional feel into my home. As I mentioned, this bench is not going to stay. So I've been looking all over the Facebook marketplace and this is an antique cabinet that I found. I measured and it was a little too big. And then I stumbled across this beautiful antique vintage desk and it was too short. So I am still on the hunt. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see what I end up putting in this space. At Lowe's, I had to come here for something else, but I figured while I was here, I might as well look at paint. I mean, look at these beautiful light fixtures too, but I'm only here for some specific things, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. But I figured while we're here, let's look at paint colors together. So let me show you a couple colors I'm thinking of. I will be sharing the wall that I want to paint in just a few moments, but I also wanted to keep an open mind with paint colors. Um, I, my original idea was to find a very beautiful shade of blue, so that's what I initially came here to look for, but then I decided to look at some of the warmer brown tones as well. So I think I'm still learning, leaning towards the blues, so that's all I picked up these little samples for in this trip. But I think just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go back and then pick up some more. But I would love your feedback. Um, when I have them all lined up on the wall, I will show the names of everything. And I would love if you could comment below and let me know which favorite shade of blue yours is. later I've got Ruger here he's following me around the house so it's a few days later you guys watched me put up these curtains um, we picked out some paint um, still have not committed to a color I think I'm actually gonna be going out there it is going out and looking at more paint samples um, and then I think I'm gonna try three on the wall and then take a vote and see which I like better. So that's kind of where I left you guys off with that. Um, this is the state of my home, my dishes. Stuff is just everywhere. Um, I have a ton of laundry. We actually went camping for a few days and got back yesterday. So I have about 50 billion loads of laundry. I've got stuff in the dryer, stuff in the washer, stuff that needs to go in the washer and then things by the front door. The trailer is actually still out front. We unload and clean and everything pretty much as soon as we get back. Um, and then the boys are home from school all week because of President's Day. Comment below, let me know, do your kids get a full week off for President's Day? Anyways, they're upstairs playing, but um, yeah, I've got this basket, it's full of like, clean towels and blankets and sheets that need to go out to the trailer. I'll show you guys. Hopefully the sun doesn't. It's actually getting really windy out. We have a storm moving in, but there's our trailer there. I got to get the last bit of this stuff put back in so we can take it back over to storage. So, oh my goodness, Ruger, where do we start? Where do we start?
I wanted to give you all a little music break. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, I have put some new music in today's video. I have been really into the kind of moody, lofty style music. I've always been a fan of like jazz and bluegrass and country, but I've just been really into like the more chill electronic kind of vibe. And so I thought I would go ahead and switch it up in today's video with some new music. You guys will have to let me know how you like it. Some videos I love to put in nice upbeat music, like put your hair in a messy bun and like get it done. And then there's other times I just love to be like a full vibe, a nice aesthetic and put in some of that moody lofty music. So I hope you guys are enjoying that today. But you guys saw me get that load of laundry that needed to go back out to the trailer all folded. Um, I didn't put a lot of time into folding those sheets because as soon as I bring it out, I'm just gonna make the bed with it. I'm not gonna be putting them in like a storage closet or anything like that. So that's why I didn't put a whole lot of time into dealing with that fitted sheet. Um, and then I just kind of staged them by the door until later that day to bring them out to the trailer. And now it's on to the dishes. As you can see, I was backed up on dishes. I was just so tired from our trip. Um, and we have been cooking and eating at home a lot more. So of course that means more dishes, but um, I'm trying to get back to routine and just get caught up from being gone. So I didn't want to stare at these anymore. So let's knock out these dishes. Now, I know everyone has a different definition for messy. Some people, clutter does not bother them, and other people, it just gives full-blown anxiety. And I'm definitely that person that I cannot have too much clutter and too much stuff piled up around my home. For example, being behind on these dishes and the laundry, it stresses me out to no end. Like there's no way I could just like sit on my couch and relax and Netflix all day um, with a just environment that is just pure chaos around me. So I was feeling very motivated this day to get up and just, I'm very much a routine person and being gone throws me off my routine. And then I feel like when you come back into town from being gone for a few days, um, there's kind of like a transition and playing catch up. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. Let me know if you guys are the same way I am. I just thrive in a clean home and that's what drives me to get this done every day. Um, and I hate when things pile up, so I try and do a little bit every day, but let me know down below in the comments which one you are. Before I forgot, I wanted to ask you guys, what are some channels that you're really, really hung up on right now? I feel like I'm desperate for some new channels and some new people to enjoy. Um, I'll share a couple with me that I've actually been subscribed to them for a while, but more recently, just really, really getting excited about their content is I always love Allison Bickerstaff and her channel is Allison here on YouTube. And then more recently, I stumbled upon, I think her channel is Desiree Darling or Darling Desiree. Let me know if you guys have heard of either one of their channels. To be honest with you, thinking long-term YouTube, I would love to have a channel like Allison. She is just such a sweet soul. And um, she does a lot of like daily vlogging, but like her vlogging is so different and her lifestyle is just, just so sweet and same thing um desi darling is definitely more of like a storybook character but she's extremely entertaining and it is a great reminder to just kind of like slow down and enjoy life so if you guys want to look up either one of those women i have been watching them a lot um, the other vlogging channel i've been really loving was katherine manning and i love her as a businesswoman and her like just her as a person. So I've really been enjoying her channel, but let me know, it doesn't have to be cleaning. It could be any niche here on YouTube, but let me know what channel you guys have been really, really into lately. And maybe you guys never miss one of their videos.
I still had a few things out from Valentine's Day and I think it's time to clean it up. It's almost the end of February. So I'm gonna take a moment to clear off my dining table. My husband had these roses sent to the house for me for Valentine's Day and they were looking a little pitiful. So it's time to clean those up and clear those off the table. And then I have a bunch of my kids' Valentines that they brought home from school. So I went through those and picked out all the trash and the stuff that they've already been eating and picking at and just kind of reorganizing everything here picking out like the snacks that they were given and then the rest of the stuff that was candy i'm going to put them in this candy bowl that i obviously need to go through as well this is a big bowl and it is full of like stuff from christmas and valentine's day and gifts that i've given them and stuff like that so it felt good to get that dining room table all cleared up and this is something I've been itching to put into a video for a while because Ruger is so, he's so popular here. Anytime I show him, everyone just like freaks out. So this is my dog Ruger. He is a pit bull and he's about 10 years old and we've had him um, for I think almost five years. We got him when he was six, um, but he's always in my videos and he was well overdue for a bath and he really is a super good boy in the bath. Um, I could even hose him and bathe him in the backyard, um, obviously when it's warm enough in the summer with no collar or anything and he'll just stand there. Um, even though I know he's not happy about it, he is such a good boy. But being it's been cold and it is winter, um, this downstairs bathroom is pretty much his bathtub. He's the only one that uses this. So we're giving him a nice warm bath with some essential oil pet shampoo and he feels so good after. It's so cute, you guys. Well, that's what I have for you all in today's video. And thank you so much again, if you made it here into the end, make sure to drop me a heart emoji if you guys made it this far. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I do a lot more behind the scenes over there, but um, I'm gonna have some really fun content coming up. I'm gonna switch gears over to spring. I'm gonna be doing some spring cleaning, organizing, decorating, shopping, you name it, we're doing it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye.